channel. Today I have my Lip Factory unboxing for December. Even though, yes, it is January now, but it's an American box, so I always get the December one a couple of days into January, or the last month one a couple of days into the next month, which is totally fine. I don't really care as long as I get a box every month. So because it's the December box, it has this cute little bag, which is different to the normal bag, and it's kind of like a wintry city kind of feel, which says nothing about Christmas in Australia, but that's fine. I don't mind. So I'm going to get right into it. Here is the card. It just says what your products are and like something about getting a free bag. And it's just got a little letter on the front, but whatever. It's not that exciting. Oh, it says something about Christmas though. Oh, and it says Merry Christmas. That's nice. Okay, so the first thing that I can see, oh, it's a Milani product. Oh, one of my favorite things about this box is that you get all this stuff that's like American stuff because it's an American box. And that is amazing because it's so hard to get in Australia sometimes. So this is a lip gloss by Milani. It looks like a lip gloss and it's called Bare Secret. Yes, it's their Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. And it looks awesome. I love that it's kind of like a nude color because anyone can wear it. I don't know if you can really see it very much there but it's kind of like a brownie nude with like maybe a little bit of pink in it. It's not that pigmented but I think it'll be really nice over like nude lipsticks or lipsticks that you want to dull down a bit maybe. Okay next up is something red which is awesome. It's by um, Magnolia Makeup and it's a matte lip colour. And the colour I think is Matador, and that looks awesome. I've really been getting into like lip paints and lip creams and stuff that dry matte. I mean, everyone in the world has been getting into them lately. But yeah, it's really awesome that we then get one in the bag, and I don't actually have a red one, and that colour looks awesome. Um, it's not like crazy pigmented uh, when you do like one swipe, so you're probably going to need a few layers of this. But there's the swatch, it's just a really nice, brilliant, bright red. I think it's blue based. I don't know, we'll see when I put it on my lips, whether it makes my lips look yellow or not, because orange based ones always do that. Next we have a, another lipstick and it's by NYC. We got one of these in our bag last time and normally they're kind of like the cheaper product that's in the bag, but that is totally fine. This one is an ultra moist lip wear. Ooh, ultra moist. I like it. And it looks like a brown colour, which is totally fine with me. Uh, because my skin is so pale, browns often look very brown, but I'm kind of into that, so it's fine. Okay, so you have to peel off the whole, like, label with the ingredients and everything to get into the lipstick, which is kind of weird. But what are you going to do? There's a swatch of that one there. It looks like a nice colour. I actually think that I will probably get quite a bit of use out of this because I really like brown, but it is definitely very brown, but it does feel nice and moisturising. So I don't know. I'm happy to have it. Even though NYC is like one of the cheaper brands in America, it's not something that's readily available here. So I love getting them because really, I mean, the last one, I think the recommended retail price was $2 or something, but... If you have to then pay for shipping to get it from America, it's not $2, is it? No. Alright, and the last thing in the bag is a lip liner, which means that this month we got everything lips, which I am sick for. I just, I love lip products, I'm obsessed. And the, it's a semi-permanent auto lip liner, long-lasting all-day wear, that's always good, and it's by LA Girl. LA Girl Endless. Is that, I'm assuming that, en, en, blah, blah, I'm assuming that Endless is like a range. I think the colour is marvellous. So, I don't know if you can see that well, but here's a swatch of it in between these two bigger ones. And it's kind of like a maroon with almost like a sheen. It's, it's a weird one. It's like maroony, browny, but also a little bit shiny. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to give it a go. I mean, how bad can it be, right? Okay, so that's it for the bag. Four lip products, which I'm loving. Three of these lip products I will definitely get use out of. This one I'm going to have to, like, test drive first. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it that much. But I'll see how it looks on the lips. And, like, I have been liking to put lip liners under my lipsticks just to make them last that bit longer, especially 
because I feel like whenever I wear lipstick, it's when I'm going out and I'm going to be eating and drinking. So if it's not going to last, what is the point? What is it? Tell me. Alright, I'm going to leave you guys there. I will put in uh, lip swatches at the end of the video. So if you would like to see them, then stick around. But otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!